divided into four plus one inch of start allowance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From this point, from the center, measure your one fourth waist measurement plus one inch allowance here. Okay. Then, of course, your hips is larger than your waist. Okay, so the hips is normally the largest part of your lower body, which is the butt area. Okay, the standard measurement from waist to hips is eight inches, depending on your client. Okay, if the, your client is taller, um, the hips could be um, 8.5 or nine inches. But for a standard person, from waist until the hips area is eight inches. Okay? So from your, from your Point A here, center, go down eight inches. Same thing as here. Eight inches. Then make a straight line. There. Okay. The so same thing. This dart should be parallel with the darts for on your wing on your skirt. So remember, we measure this 3.5. So we need to measure 3.5 here as well. 3.5 here and 3.5 here. There. Okay, then put half inch each side. Okay. Then for the front skirt darts, normally it's four inches. So from your waist point, go down four inches. Then connect the lines so that you can make your darts. Because okay. your um, front portion is not straight, so sh you should put darts for better fit. Okay. So now let's go on with your hips. So the hips here is 35 divided into 4 as well. 35, it's 8.75. So this uh, from your hip line, measure 8.75. There. Okay. So now get your hip curve. Connect the weight, um, waist measurement to your hip measurement. There. Connect this. Okay. Then you can decide how long will your skirt be. So let's assume I want my skirt from here until the knee, which is 22 inches. So measure from waist until the, your skirt length. It depends on you. Okay. So mine is 22 inches. So from, from your waist, measure here. 22 inches, same thing here. One, 
two. The name is called fly. Okay. Then you can decide what would be the opening of your skirt, the, the length part. I want it 30 inches. Okay. So measure 30 inches, divide into four. Because we're just getting one fourth of the measurement. So 30 divided by the four. It's 7.5. So from your hip measurement to your opening, leg opening, connect those two lines with a straight line. So that's your basic skirt pattern front. Okay. Then for the back, the only thing that will be changed is the darts. Just go down. Six point five or seven inches. Then change the dart. So the dart of your back skirt is lower than your front darts. So that um, it's better looking because of the butt. Okay, it will fit your butt. So again, the front dart standard is just four inches going down. Then the back dart for the skirt is around six inches to seven inches going down. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. So now, because you remember this, the lower part is kind of slim, so that you can easily walk with a pencil, pencil skirt. From waist, go down 16 inches. Okay, so this would be the slit part, if you want your slit at the back. Okay, yeah. from waist again, go down six inches. So this would be your slit. If you want your slit at the back. But if you want it at the side, it's okay as well. So go down here, 16 inches. This would be your slit. So it's really up, it's really up to you. Okay? You got it? Okay. Yes, now, yes, for the zipper, the standard zipper from waist to floor, uh, from waist moving down is eight inches. So the zipper opening for the back. Yes, sir. You got it? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, sir. So this is just for the basic basic pattern with the darts. What if you want it more structured? Okay. Again. Okay, sir. For this pattern, remember we measured 3.5 here. Just measure 3.5 here as well. Then Connect. Connect the two lines. Same thing at the back. So this would be, you will cut this part and you'll cut this part as well. Then you'll, you'll saw this. 
joining the two darts. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Same thing at the back, you can have to make it. Um, you will measure 3.5 as well. Make a straight line going through the darts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So these are the basic patterns. Let's assume you want, so this is for just for a dress, okay? Let's assume you want a serpentina gown, a fishtail gown, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pattern. Okay. For example, you want your serpentina or your fishtail gown to flare above your knee, okay? So from here, this point, you want it to flare above your knee, which is 22 inches, okay? So these are the things, the shortcut method that I'm teaching you now, okay? So from the knee, get your waist to floor measurement. Plus, you need to ask your client um, how tall would be your heels is. If it is four inches, five inches, or six inches. Okay, so add that. For example, your waist of floor, your regular waist of floor measurement is 48 inches of your client, or 40 inches for your client. Then ask them how many inches. Uh, how many inches heels are you going to use? Let's say four. Add that to the measurement. So 40 plus four inches heels. Okay, so from here, measure it. For example, this is four. This is the measurement. Okay. Make a straight line. And now you can decide how clear the fish tail do you want? How big? Okay. So this one, get the half inch, make a straight line. Okay. Then let's say I want my fish tail to be wide. It really depends on you. I want it from here. Let's say I want it 12 inches from the front center. Okay? From this point to this point. Then just connect the two lines. that so this is your front center so from this one for your serpentina fish tail got it so this is the clear part okay By the way, this is folded, folded, okay? Whenever you cut it on the garment, this, is, this part is folded. This is the, your center of your gown, okay? Now let's work on the side front. So whatever measurement that you have here, you'll put it as well 
here so for this part so that you can actually have a flare because this this one will be joined to this one so it should be equal this part and this part okay yes sir yes then another player here so this so this would be your center uh, side front area okay got it yes and for example i want my back to be um longer than my front i want to have a, a tail okay so you can decide if ever you want a longer one so remember this um line you can just extend this you can decide what, how long then connect this too so that you'll have a, a, a longer back Okay. Yes, sir. So whatever thing that you did on your front is the same thing that you would be doing at the back. So okay. it's clearing. Okay. Okay, sir. So if you will cut this, uh, by the way, this is straight. Because this is folded, okay? Folded to pieces. So from here to here, this is straight. So this is. So this is your front center. Then this is your side front with a clear. Okay. Then for the back, same thing. So if this is your flare, you can add, just add another flare here from the back. So if you want this um, higher or lower or same length as this one, Okay, so what will it look like if you cut it like this? So this is your front. One. Yep. This is your side. Okay. Yes. Then sir. for the back. Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is the zipper. Then the the back side. The back side is same as the front side measurement. Okay, sir. Okay. okay sir. So you'll have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels for your serpentina or for your skirt or your uh, fish tails, fish tail skirt. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Change. So, any question on this too? No, sir. No, sir.
Okay, there. Let's assume now you want a ball gown. Okay. So the basic ball gown cut is circular uh, around skirt. So for example, this one. You can see it. So this is a circular cut. So let's assume this is your fabric. For example, this is your fabric, okay? Yeah. So let's assume this is your fabric. Yes, sir. Okay? So normally the fabric length is 60, 60 inches from here. That's a normal um, width of the fabric. So this is 60 inches. Okay. And you want a ball gown. A uh, very um, a ball gown, okay? So first. You don't need the darts whenever you make a ball gown. So all you need to know just to know is the waist measurement. Again, so our, your let's assume your waist measurement is 30. Okay. So divide 30 into 2 or into 4. Okay, so 30 divided by into 4. is 7.5, okay. First thing you need to do is fold your fabric or your pattern, okay? So this is folded, okay? So this part, you fold your, your fabric, okay? So the one-fourth of your waist measurement is 7.5. For the front part, okay. So from this part, you need to put your tape measure like this. It should be curved. So your waist should be like that. Then. You need to, this should be 7.5 from this area to this one. Okay. There. You are one fourth of your waist. Okay. Now you get the length of your ball gown, of your skirt. You want, let's assume you want it. 40 plus a heels. Always add, always ask your client what's, what, how high will she be wearing? Okay. So without heels, it's 40 plus 4 inches heels, for example. Measure 40 here. 43. Okay. So that's 40. Now, from this point until this point, measure it. Okay? From this point until the end of the, the skirt. Then, you need to hold this and pivot and turn your tape measure around. So this should be fixed, okay, there. This
so that you can have there get it so this is one fourth of a okay. and this is folded okay so if you unfold this part it will look like this Okay. So whatever you did at the back, at the front, this is your front part, is the same thing that you will be doing at the back. Okay. Got it? Okay. Yes, then don't forget whenever, okay, so the thing that we did is without allowance. So I forgot to tell you that. Let me just tell you something. So this are without allowance, seam allowance. So you need to add, whenever you cut your fabric, you need to add half inch seam allowance. Okay? So this would be your seam allowance. Half inch here. All around. So this not because this is folded. A half inch lower. Same thing at the back. For the zipper, this is very important. For the zipper, instead of half inch, you'll have a uh, one inch zipper allowance here. Here, half inch. Okay. Okay, sir. So of course, if you want a princess cut here, so this is you cut this part, right? So this um back side area, whenever you cut it, you'll have you put half inch allowance as well. For the same allowance. You see here. Okay. Yes, sir. Because if you'll not put a sim allowance, your it will not fit your client. So your measurement will be short. The so same thing with this one. Everything should you should have you should put a sim allowance. So this is folded, so you don't need to put a sim allowance. So this is another thing. Ah, sim allowance here, sim allowance here. Okay. 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 For the back, of course, the back has, you will put a zipper at the back of your gown. The same thing. So this would be your back portion. You can slash eight inches here. So the back portion will look like this. So it will be three panels for a circular skirt. So this is the front. Remember, this is the front. The back will look like this. Okay. So this is for the back. You get have put half inch, um, one inch here, then half inch all around. Okay. 
Okay. The reason we're putting one inch seam allowance here is for the zipper. Got it? Yes, sir. So if you if you yes, will, sir. So if you will be opening your...